A few days ago, a buddy of mine sent me a text asking if I could print some stuff out for him and his brother. They've been playing this game. You might have heard about it. It's called Ark Raiders. Now, I'd never really heard of the game, but I went on to Maker World and ended up finding the exact model that he was looking for. Those of you familiar with the game, you'll know this is the Leaper, but I couldn't leave it at just the Leaper. So I printed out a few other things from the game that I thought were pretty cool. Let's go check them out. Okay, so because I've never actually played this game before, it did take me a minute to figure out how all of these things need to be laid out. Thankfully, the creator, the maker of this model, Together 3D over on Maker World, set up a pretty good instructional video over there, so I'll have that file linked down in the description below. Essentially, you've got this little piece here that attaches to this one, this one attaches to this, this attaches to this part, and then this is what attaches to our little eyeball looking thing right here. So essentially they just snap together like that. And then this can get slotted into the head. So now it kind of moves around like a GI Joe would, and you've kind of got full control over how this thing sits. So we can go ahead and get the rest of these assembled get them attached to our leaper eyeball, I guess is what it's called. Uh, and then we'll take a look and see how it looks when it's finally completed. All right, so when it's all assembled, we kind of have something resembling the Leaper. So I thought that was pretty cool the way that it came out. The eye part here, I printed two of them at the same time so I could cut down on filament waste. I think overall we ended up having somewhere around 200 grams of filament waste on this model in particular. But because we printed two instead of a single one at a time, we ended up, I guess, saving ourselves a, a little bit of waste. All in all, it took a just under 18 hours to print two of these guys out. I think just doing one of them at a time is about 12 and a half hours. So if you're gonna print more than one of these, it's definitely a, a good idea to put multiple on a build plate. Basically, as many as you can fit onto the build plate, as long as you actually need them, will end up being more beneficial for you. Now, one thing I'd like to know is some of the parts are a little bit flimsy, I guess. So this kind of moves around a little bit more than I would like it to. But again, you can kind of rotate these things and get the model set up the way that you want it to sit. I think if I was gonna print this again, I might go back and tweak some of the sizes for certain things. Like I might increase the sizes on some of the little feet parts. But aside from that, the model printed out great. They have the files all pre-sliced. Again, this model is the Leaper from Arc Raiders. And this one in particular is from a user called Together 3D. I have the file linked down in the description below if you wanna go print that one out for yourself. Along the same lines of Arc Raiders, I figured I would print something else out. So I went and printed out the Fireball. This is also from Together 3D over on Maker World. And this one prints in about an hour and a half. These two parts, these two halves actually glue together. So you're basically only printing about half of this so it doesn't actually have that many filament swaps. It prints fairly easily. Then you just put some CA glue around it and glue it all up together. And this one, I didn't do it in color because the full color model of this, first of all, I would have had to go in here and paint every single thing that we see here because the model is a single color model from the designer. This is from AR Mania 3D, again, over on Maker World. This is the Dust Recon Operative. It printed with a whole bunch of supports going up it, and I did have a little casualty here with this hand when I was removing the supports, but a quick dab of CA glue in there and some activator, and it's pretty much good to go. You're setting this up on a shelf uh, or on your desk. It still looks pretty cool in my opinion. So we've got our three models from Arc Raiders. Again, I've never actually played the game, but when my buddy reached out to me and asked if I could print some of these things out for him and his brother, they've been playing the game. I said, yeah, why not? I'll see if I can find a model. And thankfully there's plenty of these things to find over on Maker World. Again, a few tweaks that I would make personally if I was gonna print this one out again, but overall, I think it came out looking really good. Uh, if you go on to Google and search Leaper from Arc Raiders, you'll see that it looks really, really similar. Obviously the one in the game is shinier, but the fact that you can come in here and kind of move things around like you could with a, a G.I. Joe or something like that is pretty cool as well. Kind of gives you the option to set things up in your space how you want them set up. So a little bit of a different video here than what I usually do, but I figured since my buddy asked, I might as well make a video about it, right? And a big thank you to the people who actually created the models, AR Mania 3D for this Dust Recon operative, and then Together 3D for the Fireball, and of course, Leaper. I just want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Hunter 
who came up with the idea, I guess, of having me print these out. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been a video this week. Uh, links are down in the description below for the Leaper model, as well as the Fireball and the Dust Recon Operative. Huge thank you to those of you who designed these models. And those of you who stuck around until the end of the video, leave me a comment saying, uh, Leaper in the comment section down below if you made it all the way to the end. That's where this one's gonna wrap up a little bit different from the stuff that I normally do, but I just wanted to show you guys some of these cool things that I found because my buddy asked me to print them for him. So if you're into games, check out Maker World. There's a lot of different models on there for different purposes, whether it's functional or purely aesthetics, like this Leaper model here. If you're a gamer, you probably already have some different things up on your shelves or in your surrounding areas while you're playing the game. So if you have suggestions on things that I should print out next in a video, leave me a comment down below as well. I will see you folks in the next video. Take care and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one.